Hello everybody and welcome back to another EDH deck tech idea. Today I'm featuring Voja, Jaws of the Conclave. It is a 5 mana 5-5 five five legendary creature wolf with Vigilance, Trample and Ward free. On attack you put X plus 1 plus 1 counters on each creature you control, where X is the number of elves you control and you draw a card for each wolf you control. We are going to play Voja as a go white strategy, which will use elves as mana dogs to accelerate our game plan and powerful wolf creatures to swing for the win. Wolves that we want to play are for example Anara, Volvid Familiar, a 4 mana 4-4 four four, and as long as it's your turn, commanders you control have indestructible. Assembled Alpha, 6 mana 5-5 five five, and whenever Assembled Alphas blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, Assembled Alphas deal 3 damage to that creature and 3 damage to that creature's controller. Night Pack Ambusher, a 4 mana 4-4 four four with flash and other wolves and werewolves you control get plus 1 plus 1. At the beginning of your end step, if you didn't cast the spell this turn created 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token. This creature can be especially helpful if you want to build this deck in a more of a reactive way and want to abuse the day and night mechanic. Hollow Henge Overlord, a 6 mana 4-4 four, four wolf flash and at the beginning of your upkeep for each creature you control that's a wolf or werewolf create a 2-2 two, two green wolf creature token. If you can time this one right you will create an army of wolves in no time. Cemetery Prowler, a 3 mana 3-4 three, with vigilance and when it enters the battlefield or attacks exile a card from a graveyard. A little bit of graveyard hate is always great to have in a commander game and spells you cast cost one less to cast for each card type they share with cards exiled with Cemetery Prowler. I know, I know, Tovola isn't a wolf on its front or backside, but it is still a creature that you want to play in the stack. Tovola, Dire Overlord, a 3 mana 3-3. Free free. And whenever a wolf or werewolf you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control three or more wolves and or werewolves, it becomes night. Then transform any number of the human werewolves you control. And its backside says whenever a wolf or werewolf you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. And you can pay gruel and X, so target wolf or werewolf you control gets plus X plus O and gains trample until end of turn. Let's get back to the topic of accelerating our game plan with a few elves. Drew of the anima, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one, and you can tap it to either add red, green or white to your mana pool. Probably the best mana dog in this deck for you. Elvish Mystic, a 1 mana 1-1 one, one, you can tap it to add 1 green. Lanoa Loam Speaker, a 2 mana 1-3 and you can tap it to add 1 mana of any color. You can also tap it so target land you control becomes a 3-3 elemental creature with haste until end of turn. It's still a land and activate only as a sorcery. This can be especially nice if you can put a few plus 1 plus 1 counters on one of your lands to have it as a powerful backup swing with a few more animate effects. Lanoa Scout, a 2 mana 1 free and you can tap it so you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. First of all this is great because most elvish mana dogs tap for green mana and this one allows you to put any land into play so you can technically ramp also the other colors that you need for Voja. Lanoa Elves, a 1 mana 1-1 one, one, which you can tap to add 1 green mana. Lanoa Visionary, a 3 mana 2-2 two, two, and when it enters the battlefield you draw a card. You can also tap it to add one green mana to your mana pool. Let's talk about a few more card draw mechanics in this deck, which you can use until Voja draws you a lot of cards. Leaf Crown Visionary, a 2 mana 1-1 one, one, and other elves you control get plus 1 plus 1. Whenever you cast an elf spell, you may pay one green mana. If you do, draw a card. Beast Whisperer, a 4 mana 2-3 and whenever you cast a creature spell, draw a card. Inspiring Call, 3 mana instant, draw a card for each creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Those creatures gain indestructible until end of turn. Volger will deploy a lot of plus 1 plus 1 counters on all of your creatures, so this is very powerful protection for your creatures and you can also draw a bunch of cards with this card. Return of the Wild Speaker, a 5 mana instant, choose 1, draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control or non-human creatures you control get plus 3 plus 3 until end of turn, which can also be a great overrun effect. Rishkar's Expertise, a 6 mana sorcery, draw cards equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. You may cast a spell with mana value of 5 or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Shamanic Revelation, a 5 mana sorcery and draw a card for each creature you control. With Ferocious you gain 4 life for each creature you control with power 4 or greater. Let's quickly talk about a few very powerful artifacts and enchantments in this deck. The Great Henge, a 9 mana 
mana artifact and this spell costs x less to cast where x is the greatest power among creatures you control. You can tap it to add 2 green to your mana pool and gain 2 life. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it and draw a card. The Ozolith, a 1 mana artifact and whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you may move all counters from the Ozolith onto target creature. Uncivil Unrest, a 5 mana enchantment and non-token creatures you control have Riot, so they either enter with a plus 1 plus 1 counter or with haste. If a creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage instead. All will be 1, a 5 mana enchantment and whenever you put 1 or more counters on a permanent or player, all will be 1 deals that much damage to target opponent, creature an opponent controls or planeswalker an opponent controls. You can just go to combat, swing with Voja, get a bunch of plus one plus one counters on all of your creatures and all will be one will clear the path for your creatures not to be blocked. Helm of the Host, a 4 mana artifact equipment and at the beginning of combat on your turn create a token that's a copy of a crypt creature except the token isn't legendary if a crypt creature is legendary. That token gains haste. Let's create a copy of Voja and draw a bunch of cards and put a lot of plus one plus one counters on our creatures. Last but not least, Aggravated Assault, a 3 mana enchantment and for 5 mana untap all creatures you control. After this phase there is an additional combat phase followed by an additional main phase. Play this ability only any time you could play a sorcery. You want to win more? You get it. First of all, let's stay on theme. So we played Tolsimir, Midnight's Light, a 5 mana free 2 lifelink and when he enters the battlefield, create Voja Fenstalker, a legendary 5-5 green and white wolf creature token with trample. Whenever a wolf you control attacks, if Tolsimir attacked this combat, target creature and opponent controls blocks that wolf this combat if able. Tolsimir Wolfblood, a 6 mana free 4 and other green creatures you control get plus 1 plus 1. The same counts for white creatures and you can tap it to put a legendary 2-2 green and white wolf creature token named Voja into play. We also play Tolsimir Friend to Wolves a 5 mana free free and when he enters the battlefield create Voja friend to elves a legendary free free green and white wolf creature token. Whenever a wolf enters the battlefield under your control you gain free life and that creature fights up to one target creature you don't control. Shalai and Hala a 4 mana free free flying vigilance and whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on a creature you control Shalai and Hala deals that much damage to target opponent. Now it gets really nasty mirror entity a 3 mana 1-1 one, one with changeling and it's also a shapeshifter so it counts as wolf and as an elf. For x mana until end of turn creatures you control have base power and toughness xx and gain all creature types. The same counts for our last card mask wood nexus a 4 mana artifact creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. You can also pay 3 mana and tap it to create a 2-2 blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. Alright guys, these were a few cards that I will play in Voja, Jaws of the Conclave. Let me know down in the comments below which cards you would add to the deck, which legendary creature I shall feature next, and then I would say see you in the next one. Goodbye guys.